It'll be interesting to see what Craig Hutchison says about the Roos win. He accused Simo of tanking when they lost to Essendon, then slammed him for winning against the Bulldogs. With Clarko having just pulled off North's biggest win of the season, I am dying to see what Hutchie leads with this week on Footy Classified. Welcome back to AFL from LA. I'm your host, Cindy. I am here at Sunset Junction in Silver Lake, otherwise known as Hipster Central, on this blistering hot Sunday afternoon. You take Harley Reid. No. You take Harley Reid. No, you. No, 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 you. In the worst display of tanking ever, Alistair Clarkson's kangaroos steamrolled the Gold Coast Suns, waving goodbye to the number one draft pick and causing Harley Reid's travel travel agent their most severe headache to date. The win didn't just break the Kangas 20 game losing streak, it marked their first 100 plus point game of the season. And so Nick Larky bagged his biggest tally ever, nine. Suvlaki averaged almost three goals per game this year and went at, get this, 70% accuracy. Are you listening Christian Petraka? If Suva is not in the All Australian squad, I will eat my Eagles hat. And if you're enjoying the show, Show, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps more Aussies get to see the show and helps me make more Aussie friends. Another disappointing, underwhelming, underachieving season or an emerging list gaining valuable experience and forging a launch pad for next year. Frio were definitely the latter in their win over the Hawks at the G on Saturday. A venue they seemingly have no fear at playing at, unlike Optus Stadium. What impressed me the most about the old heave ho was that they lost inside 50s got smashed in clearances but still managed to win by six goals that kids is the magic of efficiency so wrong 32 disposals 10 score involvements and nine clearances all australian anyone schultz young brayshaw all put on a show but tom emmett is the guy i want to talk about where the hell has this guy been all year the 21 year old netted two goals 17 disposals five marks and two score involvements not only does Emmett kick straight and tackle like a bull, he gives Frio a third target up forward. And with Jai Amos bagging 41 goals this year, and he's only 20, and Tracy coming on leaps and bounds, the Dockers could really have a forward line to reckon with next year. The win over the Hawks takes Frio to a 10-13 record for the year and sees them finishing 14th on the ladder. Sure, that's a fall of nine spots, but considering only three games separate six from 14, I'd say the glass is half full over at Frio. Despite the Eagles asking nicely for a win for Luke Shuey, Shannon Hearn, and Nick Nat's farewell game, the Crows politely told them to go f- the Crows, I mean Crom, see, I'm learning, also instructed Tex Walker to kick nine, taking his tally to the highest it's been since 2010. Way to crash a party, Crows. Okay, okay, let me just say what I have to say here. Luke, Shannon, Nick, you guys have been absolute legends. As if I wasn't crying by the end of the game, I was absolutely bawling when JK came out and walked off with you. It's moments like these that make sports more than just about about winning and losing. It's about feeling connected to something bigger than ourselves. Seeing what players can do when they put their hearts and souls into something, reaching in deep to pull out the very best of themselves, week in, week out, year in, year out. My love also extends to our Adelaide friends. The Crows not only flexed their muscles and notched a well-deserved win, they stuck around to form a guard of honor for three of their rivals. Talk about class. Sure, my team lost, and the AFL bid adieu to three legends, but footy emerged the true winner. Nick, Shannon, Luke, your legacies are etched in our hearts. Adelaide, respect for the send-off. West Coast fans, amazing for turning out yet again. And Simo, here's hoping you're still steering the ship in 2024. Quick shout out to all of you whose team's seasons have come to an end. You hung in there for 24 weeks through victories and heartaches. Good on ya. Here's hoping that 
2024 is better for us all. There's a big, big sound. No, not Luke Beveridge punching another whiteboard. Of the Giants storming into finals. The orange tsunami ended Carlton's nine-game winning streak, downing the form team of the comp by 32 points to practically seal Adam Kingsley as coach of the year. And it's only his first year. The Blues were on top early, with King Charles bagging two goals in four minutes to seal back-to-back Coleman's. Well done, you curly-haired Adonis. Gotta be honest, with Sam Taylor out, I thought Chaz might get off the leash. But Jack Buckley threw on the Superman cape and kept the King to just one goal for the rest of the game. And huge props to Iden Himmelberg and Perryman for keeping the rest of the Blues forwards in check. The difference in the game was the heat that the Giants brought in the second half. They outscored the Blues by a whopping 48 points from turnovers, led by maestro Stephen Canelio, 200 games, Tom Green, and Cal Ward. Man, I can't believe the Giants are playing finals. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I totally believe it. And with no injuries, no suspensions, and the best away record in the comp, the Giants are one team you'd rather avoid in September.